Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss about DNA replication. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first of all, uh, what is a DNA replication? So here, the DNA replication is a process by which the DNA makes many copies of itself. So you can say by which DNA just multiplied. So that is that process is known as the DNA replication. And this is a typical cell cycle which consists of different phases like interphase and the mitosis where the interphase consists of Z1, S and G2 phase. So here the DNA replication takes place in the S phase. Now these are the basic enzymes which are involved in DNA replication like DNA helicase, topoisomerase, primase, DNA polymerase and DNA ligase. Each of these enzymes, they carry out some specific function which will be clear you in the next slides. So, let's start the DNA replication process with the parent DNA. So, parent DNA is that DNA which will replicate itself. So, just to simplify this coil structure of DNA, you can consider this structure as a straight strand structure as you can clearly see here. Now, this is the parent DNA in a, you can say that in a linear structure. The first step will be just opening of two strands because in order to carry out the replication, the two strands, they must be open up. So the first step is initiation which involves the opening of the two strands and this opening is done by the enzyme that is helicase or DNA helicase. So as the DNA helicase just break the hydrogen bond between these nitrogenous bases or base pairs and ultimately you can say open up the DNA. So this DNA helicase act like breaking of the hydrogen bond between the bases and just open up the two strands. Now as the two strands are just opened up so here there is a creation of a replication fog as you can clearly see this Y shape structure where this Y meet it creates a replication fork. Now, another enzyme will come that is topoisomerase because as the DNA will open up, the strands will open up, there will be creation of strain. So this topoisomerase enzyme, they just relieve the DNA strain and now you can see the two strands, they are just opened up and they are, you can say they are, you can say they are alone. So in order to stabilize them, there are other proteins will come which will stabilize these single stranded, uh, these single strands. So these proteins that stabilize the single strand DNA, these are known as the single strand binding proteins that is SSBP. They stabilize these single stranded and prevent them from the breakage. So this is the initiation phase of the DNA replication. Now, in the next step, as the, you can say these strands are open up, you know the DNA polymerase is the main enzyme which carry out the synthesis of new DNA strand. But this DNA polymerase require primer to start the reaction. So in the next step, the primase enzyme will come and it will uh, make a RNA primer to the both of strands as you can clearly see by the animation that this enzyme it just create the primer and which is formed of RNA molecule keep in mind that the primer is of RNA molecules. Now after the creation or after the formation of RNA primers now the enzyme the main enzyme of DNA replication that is DNA polymerase will come and it will now extend the this you can say extend these primers to create new DNA strands but it will create two strands in opposite direction like first it will make the one strand which will create continuously without any gap. So that strand is known as the leading strand but the other strand will be replicated in some segments with leaving, with leaving gaps. So these segments, these segments are called Okazaki fragments and while this strand is called the lagging strand. So now you can clearly see here the DNA polymerase created two new strands 
one stand in a continuous manner that is known as the leading stand while other stand in the form of small fragments called okajaki fragments and that stand is called as lagging stand now in the next step these gaps will be filled by another enzyme that is dna ligase enzyme so now this dna ligase it will seal the gap or you can see it will create or add nucleotide to just seal the gap now you can clearly see we have two newly formed dna molecules now what happened to the rna primer because as i told the primer were of rna molecule so what happened to these rna primer so in the next step the another enzyme that is dna polymerase 1 it will just you can say it will replace these rna primer with dna molecule so it will replace the rna primer with this dna fragments and the gaps as i told the gaps will be sealed with the enzyme that is dna ligase so the dna ligase will seal the gaps so by this process this dna get replicated and from one single paired molecule we can get the two molecules of new dna and the process will continue to get many of the copies so this slide show that how a parent dna converted into two newly formed dna stands now this is the complete scenario of dna replication here this chromosome is unfolded and it will you can say unfolded to the dna template which will be replicated so the first enzyme helicase will come and it will just open up the dna stands to create the replication four now the enzyme that is dna polymerase will create the two strands by using free nucleotides one in the you can say the continuous manner that is known as leading strand while other is in the discontinuous manner that is lagging strand so by this way the dna replication continues and the dna get replicated so that's all for today guys see in the next video thank you very much